with that, the format of the day is we're going to talk through just um, some basics everyone should know about drone mapping. We're going to get into the meat of it, how mining and aggregate companies are using drone mapping to simplify their business. Um, talk about what onboarding looks like if you are interested in uh, using drone mapping for your business. Then we have a special limited time offer just for live attendees. And then we'll do Q&A. Um, again, you can ask questions at any point, but that'll be the de designated point uh, with Dan Varys, our in-house drone expert. So first off, quick intro on drone mapping. Drones are being used in all kinds of industries. Um, obviously mining, which we'll be going very, very deep in, um, so I won't spend any time here, but they're also being used in construction for things like tracking earth moving and mass excavation projects, uh, lots of heavy civil applications to help speed up progress um, and increase uh, collaboration. They're being used in oil and gas for things like right-of-way tracking, um, making sure well pads are well maintained and, and placed properly, pipeline construction for landfills, for making sure that airspace and cells are, are optimized, where you're getting right up to capacity without exceeding it. And then they're also being used for engineering and surveying as a way to increase turnaround, uh, increase productivity without having to increase headcount. Um, so all kinds of industrial applications. And the general drone mapping process, they can look a little bit different depending on your exact needs, but usually You'll select your flight plan. You'll have a tablet where you just show the, uh, the area that you want mapped. Your drone will automatically take off. It'll fly the area in a lawnmower pattern, capturing all the data. It'll come back, land itself. Then the data is automatically processed in the cloud, at which point you're able to access and analyze your job site data. Um, so that's the general process um, on a pretty standard site. It'll take something in the order of 10 to 20 minutes to uh, to fly the area. Um, and when I say fly, again, the drone's actually flying itself. And then you're looking at a uh, number of hours, maybe something like six hours for a standard job site until you actually have the data back. So you fly that morning, you're looking at the report before you leave the office. Um, as to compare to traditional surveying where it can easily be weeks or even months. So that takes us to the meat of the content. How mining and aggregate companies are using drone mapping. So one of the best things about drone mapping, if you go on a purely service um, basis where you're just hiring people for one-offs, obviously you're paying for every single time they come out to the job site. Um, if you've done traditional aerial surveying where you're actually chartering planes or helicopters, uh, you can easily be looking at a 20 grand uh, bill with every time that they're coming out because you're not just paying uh, for the data, you're paying to get a pilot out there, you're paying for a plane or a helicopter, you're paying for the jet fuel. So to get all those things in place is prohibitively expensive. What's nice about our model is you actually have unlimited drone flights. So anytime you want, at your convenience, at the push for a button, the drone's going up, it's capturing your data, and within a few hours, you're able to analyze the reports. Um, what that gives you is a really solid understanding of the mine um, for, uh, for mine planning and safety, a really un uh, deep understanding of your inventory, knowing exactly where your stockpiles are so you're never over-promising things to, to customers or confusing your accounting team. And traditional land and aerial survey, uh, the big issues are obviously safety, right? It, it's, it's hard to have someone hiking, marching up and down uh, steep stockpiles or around mines, dodging 100-ton trucks. Um, it's expensive for all the reasons we described and, and paying for their time. Um, and because of that, it's usually only done on a quarterly or in some cases even less frequently basis. And the problem is if your data is three months old or six months old or a year old, on a fast-moving job site, your data is wrong. Um, so one thing that we really, really recommend is taking advantage of that unlimited drone mapping where there's no added expenses. And that frequently gives you real-time asset tracking 
in real time mine planning. Um, we've heard so many horror stories from people where their their CFO or their senior accountant uh, asked for the the data on stockpiles, and when they finally got it in, it was way off expectations, which wrecked their books, um, forced them to miss out on some tax benefits that they could have taken advantage of, and the mine manager looked like they didn't know what they were doing because um, the numbers were so far off. So this way, minor, minor corrections can be made consistently week after week, month after month, and there's no big surprises that are going to throw things off in the records. This also helps with scheduling subcontractors because you know exactly how things are progressing. Um, that's particularly important for, for mine planning, for moving over burden, um, but you know when your deadlines are, you know exactly how much earth has moved, and you're not dealing with things like um, swelling or fluffing that throw off exactly uh, what's the earth in the ground versus what's the earth in the trucks. So this gets you the true numbers on where your exact volumes are. That's why we say that your data speaks volumes. And we actually have some specialized tools for chains detection technology. So you're actually able to see the changes on the mine site taking place as they happen. Um, you can overlay different dates and see the exact changes between them. Um, so just for example, maybe you want to monitor high wall and slope stability. Drone mapping lets you detect changes occurring in both of those areas, whether planned or unplanned. Um, tracking and sustaining resources is a big concern. Uh, it can obviously be challenged tracking uh, inventory, and that can lead to wasted resources during extraction. And using our 3D volumetrics lets you sustain your resources within the mine and really maximize that. And by working more efficiently, by having your leadership, your subcontractors, um, your, in some cases, your clients, all able to collaborate, looking at the exact same data in near real time, can do, do a lot to avoid potential misunderstandings. As we discussed, the data is turned around quickly. So instead of waiting for a surveyor to take, in some cases, weeks or months to get the data back, you're going to have it back in, in hours. And one of the most common questions is, great, you can get the data fast, but is it accurate? Right? I've heard many quotes from people, we live and die by these numbers. They have to be right. So obviously, that's a huge concern. And drone mapping data is every bit as accurate as traditional surveying methods. Um, we actually, if you go to our website, have a report done, uh, validated by a third party called Spatial Analytics. And uh, it's the, if you go to our resource section, the header is how does drone mapping accuracy compare to traditional uh, aerial. So you can actually see the side-by-side -side comparison and see that it is right on. There was a 0.01% difference. It's getting the exact same data. The only difference is now you're only paying to get that little tiny sensor in the air to capture all that data instead of paying for the jet fuel, the plane, the pilot, all, all those issues. And uh, another question is, great, you know, it, it, it compares to, well to a plane, but what about to LiDAR? And again, it's very consistent with LiDAR. We had a really nice quote from one, one of our customers. Um, Carmuse's group mine engineer is named Brent Bradshaw, and he told us, between what we measured and what the plant said we did, there was only a 0.01% difference. We've seen projects that we had to write off millions of dollars, but now we can eliminate that moving forward. There are millions of dollars at stake, and now inventory management for every plant can be precisely managed. So now there's no more surprises. Everything's accurate, and you're getting those updates in near real time. So obviously that all sounds good, but what about the real return on the investment? Well, it's coming back in a few different ways. Um, a drone can capture more data in minutes than a surveyor on foot can in a month. So equipping your team with mapping drones takes them out of harm's way, reduces injuries, reduces insurance, reduces downtime, and dramatically increases their productivity without having to increase headcount. So obviously that's a huge one. Um, 
we've regularly heard uh, three hundred percent increases in productivity by using drones. And to be clear, drones are not a replacement for surveyors. You absolutely need surveyors, just like um, electric drills aren't a replacement for carpenters, but they can help them get more done more safely with less effort and less time. For ROI, mine planning optimization is huge. You can't manage what you can't measure. And by knowing and tracking and seeing your progress in near real time, there's no surprises on production or progress, and you can get ahead of things before they become big problems. If, if you're behind deadline, you can actually bring in more subcontractors or talk to them about uh, resetting expectations to get ahead of it. Um, a huge one is efficient leach pad mineral extraction. If you do any precious metal mining, you know that for every dark spot, for every area that uh, isn't getting properly extracted, that can easily be tens of thousands of dollars. So by flying over the leach pads and seeing how the areas are progressing, you see where there's clogs, you see where extraction has been completed, that means better allocation of resources and faster, more thorough extractions. And then how does it help for inventory and, and for stockpiles? Well, if you're only measuring your stockpiles once per year, there's likely to be big write-offs and surprises when you go from your estimates to the real measurements. That causes massive swings to the company's books and has mining managers, accountants, and CFOs all scrambling to adjust to the new book valuations and tax repercussions. With near real-time continuous mapping, any adjustments day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week are minor and your organizations are never caught off guard. It helps you deliver for clients. You never want to miss out on sales because you mistakenly don't think that you have the inventory on hand. You also don't want to overpromise inventory that you don't have to give. So getting your exact inventory amounts in near real time lets you maximize your sales and profits while minimizing holding costs and never disappointing customers. And finally, it lets you avoid post-processing. When you sign up for a subscription with Identify Technologies, your included job site analytics tool, SiteIQ, lets you accurately estimate tonnages based on volumes, which most software won't let you do, and it lets you track entire regions instead of only single stockpiles to really, really improve your efficiency. Likewise, you can accurately track stockpile volumes even if they're against walls or placed on uneven ground. Measurements and insights that would normally be costly or impossible to capture are available with a click of a button set IQ with no specialized post-processing or special skills. And, you know, I talked a little bit about surveyor um, safety. Mining, despite all the best efforts, all the technology, and all the um, best practices in place, is dangerous. And anything you can do to take your people out of harm's way is valuable. It's valuable to avoid downtime, it's valuable to avoid injuries, it's valuable to uh, keep insurance low, and that peace of mind is invaluable to anyone in charge of a mining site or working on a mining site. During the exploration phase, now instead of going out on foot, the survey drone can fly over uncharted terrain and keep everyone out of harm's way. By incorporating UAV applications in mining during this process, you're able to remotely understand and comprehend future job sites and mines without having to deal with any unforeseen risks such as landslides or cave-ins or leaks. If any emergencies or issues do arise during a project, you can assess the situation by performing an ad hoc survey by drone. That way you gain quick insights to inform your decisions on how to handle it, how to respond, without having to put any of your people in danger. So all those, as well as not having to, to climb and scale stockpiles, um, means higher productivity, higher morale, and lower costs. So with that, I want to get to the two case studies relevant, one focusing on precious metal mining, um, one focusing on materials, in this case limestone. Again, if you do have any questions, we're going to be joined by Dan Barris, our in-house drone expert, and. Um, We'll be starting at that Q&A right after these. So SSR mining, formerly known as Silver Standard, uh, is a gold mine. They're based out in the West, and they do, um, they really, really focus on, on gold. And they're Vancouver-based. 
Um, I'm sorry. They have three different operations. One's in Marigold in Nevada, one's in Saskatchewan, Canada, and one is uh, the Puna Operations, a joint venture in Argentina. And in 2016, they began looking into commercial drone mapping solutions for mining operations throughout North America. Towards the end of the year, um, they found out about our fully managed solution that provided accurate information in a short period of time and gave them the flexibility to get survey grade data for a wide variety of applications. So their initial goal was, look, we need software that, that includes cloud-based remote access, quick data processing, uh, improved accuracy compared to manual surveying methods, unlimited flights. So all those things were an appeal. And they wanted to be able to see where changes had been made or what the changes were on a regular basis, track progress, um, and not have to do comprehensive traditional aer aerial flyovers as frequently. Um, they were able to back it out to three years, massively reducing their overall costs. And they actually found a wide variety of different applications for drone mapping um, throughout their operations. So they used 3D models for their construction department. By flying the drone over construction sites, they were able to monitor construction progress and track it. They could compare that data with cut and fill numbers to assist with cost management, see their real cost per unit, and making sure that they were always meeting their engineering design specs. They can actually overlay the blueprints with the actual job site and make sure everything lines up as planned. The process department took advantage of drone mapping, using it for the leach pads, allowing operators to easily determine which cells were dry, usually as a result of a plugged uh, drip tube, or to locate which areas had too much solution, which helps avoid wasted resource costs, as well as ensure protection of wildlife and alleviate concerns over pad slope stability. And if you aren't familiar with this, the leach pad is a lined pad where a dilute cyanide solution is applied over precious metal containing ore to extract the precious metals, such as gold or silver, from the ore. The solution is fully recovered to further process and extract the gold from the solution while also recycling the water. So by identifying these problems, these clogs, or these dry spots uh, aerially, operators can immediately respond and repair or correct the flow volumes, which greatly reduces the foot travel, the man hours uh, required for inspection. And by optimizing the solution application, operators are able to maximize gold extraction in the least time possible while reducing potential impact to wildlife. The technical services department used drones for reporting and reconciliation. The, the department flew the drone over extraction pits, then used identified proprietary chain detection technology to compare the progress to the designs. In one instance, drone technology was used to survey an area not accessible by foot or vehicle. So SSR Mining found that it actually doesn't need to put people on the ground for surveying. In some cases, the process can be safer and more efficient using drones. The environmental department took advantage of them. They had a newly constructed landfill, and they wanted to keep track of the disturbance. Because the mine is only allotted a certain amount of acres uh, to disturb, the drone helped track that in near real time versus using surveyors on foot, where it would take them uh, till the end of the month or even end of the quarter to report back. So this way, they could, in kind of micro movements, make sure that they weren't exceeding um, the acreage that they could cover. Other environmental uses, such as monitoring dam stability and effectiveness of wildlife protection measures, uh, such as excess solution on the leach pad or appropriate coverage process or process ponds can also be done easily with a quick drone flight. And again, you're getting back 20 grand for every dark spot on those leach pads. So that pays for itself usually on the first day. Exploration departments have implemented drone technology for many functions. Since SSR mining can now map hundreds of acres in 10 to 20 minutes using a drone, it can update surface topography maps that can be paired with core samples to create block models for potential new exploration areas. While these areas are remote, the drone can be used to identify the location of new roads that are needed to move heavy pieces of machinery into place for core sampling. So SSR mining was able to save time and money using mapping drone technology 
With traditional methods, it would take 20 hours of surveying and processing to obtain a detailed survey of a specific section of the mine site. Using identified, the same results were achieved with one hour of work, a 20x difference. This has allowed SSR mining to increase speed and productivity without increasing staffing costs and headcount while decreasing the frequency of its traditional full site flyovers and costs. So their construction, their process, their techni technical services, their environmental department, and their exploration department were all able to independently take advantage of drone mapping. And if you're in the stockpile and materials business, Carmuse's experience may appeal to you. Limestone is a vital ingredient in the materials that build and renew infrastructure around the world. Carmuse is a leading global limestone producer. Their products are a vital part of many global industries, from construction to manufacturing and environmental services. Carmuse employs more than 3,800 people, and they have an international presence across Europe, North and South America, Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. Their original goal for drone mapping was to streamline their year-end process. The traditional method they used was aerial surveys taken once a year, which required months of lean time to plan and a massive expense to get the, the aircrafts, the pilots, the fuel all out there. The post-processing had to be outsourced, so it took several weeks after the flight to actually receive the data back. And on a fast-moving job site, that meant by the time the data was received, it was already inaccurate. It was already obsolete by the time they had it. So they began thinking about using a drone to capture their, their mapping and help them with their surveying needs so they could spend more time using the data and less time collecting and processing the data. They said their ideal solution would not only simplify and accelerate the process, but dramatically reduce the cost compared to traditional aerial surveys. So their initial search began in 2016, and their greatest challenge was to find a data processing solution that could scale across all their sites. Most companies want to sell you the drone, but then you have to process the data and do the technical maintenance all yourself. Carmuse wanted the data to be accurate, and the quote was, inaccuracies are a big deal. Now with Identified, we have control over the data that gets collected. We have an easy interface to check on the data that helps us develop better relationships with our contractors because we can reduce ambiguity. In many cases, we know the job site better than they do. And for their results for inventory management, the company leadership used Identified's change detection technology and cloud-based site IQ software to remotely see production progress around the world. We now have the ability to see exactly what was mined from the site on a weekly basis. We can see if there's overcount or undercount, and that's important because it affects our cost per ton and our inventory. For accounting purposes, controlling the mine plan and the depletion of reserves is a must. It's crucial to measure what material is being moved and the quantity so that mine plans can be adjusted continuously instead of just once at the end of the year. The controllers and finance team are responsible for managing the inventory and working capital and garbage in, garbage out. So the better data they have, the better they can do their job. It turned out, though, that Carmuse actually had some other um, value that they weren't expecting. It helped them with inspections. Um, historically, to do inspections, they had to actually have someone crawl <laughs> on a ladder, uh, going through all the different uh, cars, in some cases miles long, of material. Um, but using drones, they're able to capture that same information in a fraction of the time without putting anyone at risk. And it also helped them with stripping, um, helping them hone in on the details of stripping campaigns, even when managers weren't on site. Um, we have in-depth case studies on both of these. So if, you, uh, if you're interested in learning more either on the mining side or the materials side, uh, I'll be sending out a recording of this webinar and there'll be links to, uh, to both these case studies in it for the full uh, debrief. Um, but with that, I want to thank you for your time. I want to tell you a little bit about the onboarding process, and then I'll kick it over to Q&A. So if you, this sounds good and you think drone mapping might be a fit for you, we don't just hand you a drone and walk away. Um, we have an amazing VP of aviation with over 20 years of experience in the industry, and you'll have a dedicated client success manager. They'll work with you figuring out what your personal goals are as an organi organization, um, 
both strategic, high level, and, and what specifically you want to achieve with your drone mapping campaigns. Um, we'll train you uh, not just in sort of safe operations, but to pass your FA 107 so you can fly legally. Um, we'll help you understand the flight process, um, how to get the maximum insights from your uh, analytics and reporting, and how to actually incorporate it into your just standard operating procedures until it's just another tool, just like any other. You'll have access to best-in-class support. Um, so if anything ever doesn't function the way you expect, or you have a question, or you have a requested new feature, um, we're here for you, um, whether it's on-the-spot troubleshooting or over-the-time software enhancements. And that actually includes uh, continuous upgrades with the software. We have a whole dedicated team just working to make it better every day. And you'll automatically get those updates, uh, as well as new drone upgrades, so you're never left with something obsolete. We also have a 24-7 support center with full comprehensive guides in every aspect of the integrated drone mapping process. Um, even after you're fully trained and up to speed, you'll still get quarterly check-ins. Uh, again, if you have feature requests, um, if we have new or as we have new technology to make sure you're aware of it and can take advantage of it and new trends and applications. And basically, by using drone mapping, you can, uh, if, if you do overburden or subcontracting, win more bids, complete more jobs, more progress per year, improve your profitability per job, have happier stakeholders, whether that's leadership, clients, subcontractors, and keeping morale higher and your team more satisfied. And while doing all that, you reduce billing reconciliation time because you're getting data back not in months, but in hours. Um, you're not going to have these same surprise project costs or stockpile changes. You're getting data back in every day if that's what you want. And you don't have the same level of overwork or rework from misunderstandings. Um, and you're able to reduce uh, accidents, improve safety, and reduce risk. So with that, I want to thank you all very much for attending, give you an exclusive offer just for live attendees. So you can actually, if you're interested in drone mapping, you can win a free month of drone mapping um, valued at up to $7,500 for no fee whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to give you the link now. Uh, all we'd ask you to do is just answer a few questions to help us uh, continually improve our offering and understand what what the market needs and, and what you're looking for. Uh, it just takes a few minutes. So I just entered the link in the chat box. And with that, I want to thank you again for attending and open it up for Q&A. So um, we are joined by Dan Veris, uh, again, our resident in-house uh, drone expert. Whether you want to use the drone mapping for mining, for aggregates and stockpiles, or for something completely different. Um, when, when I did the poll asking about industry, I saw that there's plenty of people outside of any of those categories. Um, so whatever your application, even if something completely different, we would love to uh, learn more about it. Uh, if there's something we don't know, uh, we'll find out who does and get you the answer. And if it's something that we actually aren't the perfect solution for, um, we'll try to refer you towards um, the people or the solution that can help. So please enter your mining and stockpile questions at this time. I'll give just a minute or two um, for people to send their questions in. And don't be shy. Anything's fair game.
Okay, great. Um, we'll keep the questions coming, and I'll. Uh, so let me hand the mic over to Dan. Um, Dan, one question that people wonder a lot is, what what are the real safety results? It sounds great to say, look, we're taking people out of harm's way, but what kind of safety results are our customers actually experiencing? Sure, great question, and I'll just start off by saying thanks again, everybody, for joining. Um, you know, it's funny. I, I talked to some guys where their last accident might have been five years ago, and other guys, the, the last accident was five days ago. And, and regardless, I think everybody in this industry can agree one accident is one too many. And that's the great part about the drone is it's, it's not a person. It, it's a mini helicopter up in the air capturing the data on these types of sites, on these types of facilities uh, that you need without putting a person in harm's way. So uh, when, it, when the drone's utilized as it should be, uh, when it's utilized for these types of use cases uh, that, that doesn't need a, a human person to be there, uh, simply in a safe spot, watching the drone, uh, collect the same type of data, same amount of data uh, as that person might have been in the past, well, the answer should be, you know, no harm. Uh, and that's what we have experienced. You know, the customers that use the drone, uh, their guy is on the ground in a safe spot, still maintaining eyes, eyesight and visual line of sight with the drone, but outside of harm's way uh, in the drone, in the air, capturing that same data. Perfect, Dan. Great answer. Um, one question is obviously pricing, and uh, I know it can vary from the exact user, but I am curious, a lot of people now are paying 20 grand every time they want to charter a traditional aerial survey, so to get a plane or a helicopter out there, and just super rough ballpark. Instead of, if someone instead of getting that data once a quarter and paying 20 grand per quarter, so 80 grand a year, if instead they wanted to get drone mapping maybe once a month or even once a week, what does that kind of look like? I mean, are, are they now paying 20 times more, 50 times more for that? Or what, what kind of general trends do you see? Sure. So, sure. so let me share a quick story. Early on in my career here, I talked to someone, and they were coming to us, and their use case was, hey, I just want to fly the thing at the very end of the year uh, as a replacement for that typical airplane survey I, I used to pay $20,000 for. And uh, great. Glad to hear you're looking into drones. Uh, yeah, you're definitely, it's not going to cost you that much, but let me ask you this. Why do you, why are you only flying at the end of the year? And it, it's amazing how many times that comes up because, because of what these airplane surveys cost sometimes, a lot of folks don't actually think it's possible to fly more than once or twice or four times a year. Um, so, it, when, when you do pose the question that way, all of a sudden it's not how much is this going to cost me for a flight, but what kind of cost am I going to save by having an exact snapshot of my inventory at any moment in time, anytime I need it, whether that's once a year, once a month, once a week, once a day. Um, and, and it's hard to put a number to that all the time. But it, with what the drone's bringing to the table, where it's not a $20,000 bill every time you fly, uh, it, it's amazing to see the level of insight these companies have into their uh, inventories, into their job sites. Because, again, the true power of the drone, it's not the speed, it's not the propellers, it's not you know just a little hel helicopter flying in the air. All that stuff's cool, but it really comes down to the frequency that it lets you collect data on these sites because, I mean, examples are in every part of our lives. The more we know about a situation, the better decisions we're going to be able to make, the more insight we're going to have into make the right decisions, and, and more often than not, that's going to, that's going to, there's going to be a true cost value to that. Perfect. Um, Dan, next up, do you ever see cases where people just sort of want to DIY it, they figure, hey, I'll just buy a drone on Amazon and uh, just take care of things internally, it'll be fine, and, and maybe if so, uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Well, to answer that, all the time. Uh, I, got a lot of, I got a lot of do it your own guys come, and that's great, and it's certainly one avenue uh, to approach as you explore this technology. Now, speaking from experience, uh, it, there, there's, a, there's a little bit of 
um, work that comes involved when you do it or not. And a lot of times this back-end work isn't on the surface. So it's something where, hey, it might not be until after you buy the drone, after you invest the time into developing a relationship with the FAA and learning all the FAA rules and becoming FAA certified, um, even setting up you know, how you're going to store and manage your data. Even after all that, uh, little surprises are going to jump up and it's, there can be you know, definitely a learning and a success curve when it comes to this technology. Uh, I'd say especially, you know, what I like to tell guys is, hey, you're in the mining industry, you're in the aggregate industry, you're in the earthwork industry. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense for you to reinvent yourself as a drone mapping company. Uh, it, it makes more sense for you to focus on what you do best, uh, which is mining which is stockpiles, which is earth, earthwork. Um, and that's why there's companies like us at Identified where, hey, we've got the engineering team in place. We've got you know long-term relationships with the FAA. Uh, we've got long-term relationships with drone manufacturing partners where, hey, we put the whole solution together where at the click of the button, I mean, within you know days, a week, you're using this technology on your job sites. Uh, you're collecting real survey grade data and it's making a difference to your bottom line. Perfect. And um, again, keep the questions coming, but uh, one, one last one I want to wrap up on, if there's no others, is that end of year reconciliation. That's something we hear a lot about. Um, and I was just wondering if you had any personal conversations or sort of stories um, where maybe someone's end of year count didn't go quite the way they expected, and, uh, and that's sort of what got them interested in exploring drone mapping. Sure. So first I'll say uh, maybe a good uh, question for that survey would be who has the highest end of year write off they've ever had because I'd be interested to know and I've heard a lot of high numbers um, and some for some of the bigger bigger companies you know a high number to me is just a write off to them. Um, it's, it's so small based on their overall revenue. Hey it, it's not something they think about with their current operation. Um, but our point with the drone and the technology and the software is there doesn't need to be a write-off with end of year inventory. That number should be zero. Uh, and it's something very easy to do with today's technology. Uh, there, you know, in the past, yeah, maybe there was an excuse for not doing uh, a $20,000 survey every month of the year. Well, with the drone, I don't see that excuse anymore. Uh, it is a tool that can give you this level of insight anytime you need it. It's a tool that's going to capture data on your site anytime you need it. So, uh, and we've seen it with Carmuse, we've seen it with SSR, those end of year inventory write-offs are zero because they're keeping absolute track of their inventory at all times um, and making sure they're in the know on what's going on with their stockpiles, with their inventory. Um, so to me, it, it's a simple uh, solution of, hey, the technology is now here where this is very easy to do um, and can save you real dollars and cents. Uh, that, that end of year inventory number should be zero. And, and I'd like, I think we're very close to most companies, uh, that number being zero. Perfect, Dan. Well, I want to thank you very much for sharing your expertise with our audience. Um, everyone uh, attending, I know you're busy. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to learn more about how drone mapping uh, can benefit your operation. I'm going to send a link in the chat box. It is a uh, sign up for a free drone mapping demo. So if you just want to see our technology in action, see it on uh, Quarry, see, see how the 3D volumetrics tools work on stockpiles, start to kind of visualize how this could work with your business, uh, please sign up um, for a, a free demo. And uh, with that, I want to thank you all for your time. I'll be sending out a recording of the webinar if you want to rewatch it or share it, and a PDF white paper um, with more information and links, uh, again, if, if you want it for further uh, follow-up or uh, to share. So thank you all again for your interest, and have a wonderful rest of your Thursday.